less charges east and west. We need to send more water south. We need to do a lot of things. However, they want to do all of this stuff on our backs. And as you well know, they have purchased about hundreds of thousands of acres to build a reservoir. Uh, you may not remember the reservoir was under construction and these very same environmental groups that say we need a reservoir sued to stop the construction of the reservoir because they had ulterior motives. Then it kept going on and on and on. This has been going on now for over 17 years. A particular nasty group called Rivers Coalition. Um, I can't repeat a lot of the things that were said to me because a lot of y'all brought your children here today. But the bottom line is, if the dike were to break and we were to drown, they would be have a party. So I urge everybody here today to educate yourself to what has gone on for the past 17 years or so in building this reservoir and sending the water south. They think, let's just send water south. Um, funny thing, the people south don't want the water. Uh, it needs to go into the Everglades. A lot of things need to be done. Bottom line is, it is an extremely complex issue that can't be wrapped up in funky little sound bites. You've got fish out there that are growing leaps and bounds. People come from all over the world to fish Lake Okeechobee. And you know how I know that? It's because they all come here. They call us on the phone. Their lifelong bucket list dream is to come and catch the fish of their lifetime. And you know those fish are out there. And those people catch those fish day after day after day. And we not only catch them, but we release them. So your children, your, your brothers, your cousins can come here and catch that fish again. I had a little thought today. Janet says, you always think of things at the last minute. I want to extend an invitation to the graduating seniors who will be graduating 2017 that they, when they leave, 16? Is it 16? I think it's 17. So anyway, those seniors that are graduating and leaving for colleges, for jobs, for the military, wherever they go, when they say, I'm from Clewiston, Florida, people are going to say, man, you've got the second largest freshwater lake there in your backyard. Tell me about it. If you go out on that lake, I don't care, especially if you go out, out there after a three-day uh, wind blowing in the same direction, you're talking about a, the definition of a pristine environment. It is a gorgeous place to be. Um, it, you know, it's something that's near and dear to my heart. My favorite way to fish Lake Okeechobee is actually getting out of the boat and wading in it. And, um, you know, it, it's just, uh, it, is, it is the definition of home to me. It's one of those things, when I'm on Lake Okeechobee, I look back and I see those smokestacks, and I know that there's stuff billowing out of there. I can guarantee you that people are employed and home is taking care of home. And that's something I think that we need to remember is Clouston, Bell Glade, Pahokee, South Bay, uh, and then on the north end with Okeechobee, Moorhaven, all of that. We've got to rally together. We've got to make sure that we're, share, we're sharing our message with each other. Um, we have a very powerful message. We're, we're part of the Florida story, and it's one that we have to keep uh, propagating time and time again.